All right, I'm gonna go over how to import the live preview files and content. So um, right now I just have the default theme installed. Let's just dive right into our dashboard and start installing some content. So the first thing I wanna go over is how to install uh, um, all the content and it is gonna be under tools and import. And then under there, you'll click on WordPress and if you haven't used this before, it'll actually require you to install the WordPress importer. Just click install now and then activate the plugin and run importer. Then from there, um, you'll just browse your files. And in your download um, from ThemeForest, you'll have a couple folders and files. You'll want to go under additional files and there's a folder called live preview files. We're going to be installing demo import. The other one is the slider and we'll cover that next. But just click demo import.xml, upload it and import it. You can read up here what it's going covering. It's just saying um, you know which account you want to use to import everything. You can always change this later on so don't worry too much. The important thing is this import attachment. Make sure you select it. This is key. Um, otherwise, you won't get the images. So uh, we'll click Submit. And if you haven't installed WooCommerce, which I haven't on this either, um, you'll get a couple errors and they'll just say, you know, uh, the WooCommerce uh, categories and products didn't import. Don't worry if you get some errors. Um, it's nothing to be worried about. Another thing to note is that um, most of the demo images will just come over as sample images. Uh, so you'll just have to, um, you know, just make note of that so that you know what is, uh, that the images aren't going to come over. But um, go and just let the import run. It shouldn't be too large of a file. Um, I'm just going to let this run in real time. So as I mentioned, you'll have some failed imports. If you don't have WooCommerce, nothing to be worried about. It'll say, all done, have fun. There's still a couple extra steps. So let's go over them. The next step is under uh, Appearance and Menus. And we're gonna wanna click on Manage Locations. And we're just gonna wanna select our primary menu will be Main and our footer will be Footer. This is just setting our menus. They're actually already created for you. Um, we just have to tell the theme, choose those. Then the next thing we have to do is under setting and reading. And this is setting up the home page. So instead of for front page displays your latest posts, you'll want a page. So for the front page, we'll do home. And the post page, we'll, boot, we'll do latest news. Save that. And it's starting to look really close. If we view our site, it's almost ready. The only thing left is to import our slider. So let's go and import our slider and we can do so under revolution slider. And we'll want to click on this green import slider. Again, browse through your files and you'll want to look under additional files, live pre preview files and slider homepage. So we'll open that, click import. And again, it should be pretty quick to install this. Um, once it's installed, you'll see it listed and you can of course edit slides and all that kind of stuff. And when you refresh your page, you'll now have the, uh, the, um, slider imported for you. All of your, uh, portfolios and latest news will be set up for you with background images. Um, one thing to note is that, uh, these short codes in the slider won't appear um, correct. Don't worry, all you have to do is edit the slides, edit each slide, and just click update. You don't need to edit any content, you just need to update the slide. Um, Revolution Slider just doesn't import the short code um, information until you update the slide, and so you'll just need to do that for each slide real quick. I can just show you real quick. Go to slide two, Scroll to the bottom, click update, and do the same thing for slide three. And that will cover how to import all of the live preview data. Um, you'll have your menus and all that kind of stuff, which is pretty handy.